Want to turn to this right here, the impacts of the coronavirus on Wall Street because the Dow Jones Industrial Average rallying up close to nearly 2,000 points today. It closed within the last hour at 23,185. This happening amid the president's announcement on his aggressive plan to fight the coronavirus. And even with the big rebound on Wall Street, the historic plunge earlier this week has many fearing we are headed for a recession. Yeah, News 5's John Kosick joins us. And, John, that is a word that we know can push strong reactions. Yes, because the last one, the financial crisis of 2008, hit us so hard and took us so long to recover from. It's where our minds, hearts, and wallets are drawn. Economic leaders, though, say this is not that. Let me just comment. This isn't like the financial crisis. Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin on CNBC looking to calm fears that what we're seeing in the markets is not comparable to what we saw in the fall of 08. This is an economic crisis, yes, but not a financial one. We have a medical situation that has shut down and will shut down parts of the economy like we've never seen, but then they're going to open back up. We're probably in a recession now. Scott Shane is a professor of economics at Case Western's Weatherhead School of Management. If we're not in a recession now, we will be because you can't curtail all this economic activity and not be in a recession. Even for economists, the massive pendulum swings in the market the past two weeks have been eye-opening. We see financial markets where people are going crazy and selling and no one wants to buy. And then the next day, people are buying like crazy and markets are going up and down in like 10 percent in intervals is crazy. Shane also believes what the market is going through is different from 2008 because there is liquidity, money to move. But he believes the actions of Washington need to put Wall Street and Main Street at ease right now, not add to the uncertainty. I think the most important thing is people are panicking in multiple sectors. And the one thing you have to do is change the psychology of this or it becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. That's why he hopes to see bipartisanship in whatever they come up with. If the Democrats want a few things put in a solution and the Republicans want a few things in a solution, let's just oversolve the problem. Put in a little too much from both sides and just get some action done. And again, we saw that wide swing of the pendulum today with the Dow closing up close to 2,000 points on the president's emergency declaration, which will free up those significant federal resources. Mm -hmm. Yeah, John, the president's saying that he's not going to support the relief package that's been proposed by House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. Yeah, he said he wants it to go further, but this is the, something that she has been working on with the administration. She said the House will vote on this measure sometime today with or without the president's support and send it on to the Senate.